It's been nearly two weeks since Hamas militants abducted dozens and dozens of hostages in Israel, and their families are growing desperate. More tonight from my colleague, Aaron Burnett, who's in Tel Aviv. Aaron? Abby, it has been 12 days since those hostages were abducted. I mean, you have to think about what um, they've been enduring in that time. We understand maybe held in tunnels. Who knows uh, what the circumstances are? And of course, their families are desperate for any sign of their loved ones. Uh, they all tell us they just want a sign of life, any kind of a sign of life. Uh, earlier today, I had a chance to talk to the parents of two of the hostages, Maya and Ite Regev. They were both abducted by Hamas at the music festival. At least 260 people were killed, of course, at that festival. And their parents thought they were among them at first. Their father played me a harrowing phone call from his daughter, Maya, as she came face to face with Hamas terrorists. I can hear this. <laughs> I thought she was dead. I thought both of them dead. My, my son, uh, both, both of my child in the car. And then she says, they, they kill me, they kill me. I love you, pap. I love you, daddy. Abby, obviously, it's incredible to watch that. You can see Marit's reaction and uh, Alan, of course, the heartbreak. But they wanted the world to hear that call. Uh, Elon had not listened to it since he actually spoke to his daughter. Mirit had not heard it until that moment. And you could see her stealing herself to hear it, but she wanted the world to hear it because they want the world to know. They, they also told me that they saw a video on social media, a very brief one from Hamas that showed their son taken hostage. And they haven't seen any video of their daughter, although they say that Israeli authorities just a few days ago told them, the Israeli army came and told them on Monday night that both of their children are being held in Gaza. So they thought it obviously very important that the Israeli government, Abby, knew that, but the Israeli army refused to tell them exactly how they know this information. But of course, Abby, you can see the anguish and the pain as those parents wait and wait and pray for a sign of life of their children. 